Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have another exciting recipe for you guys. I feel like I always say that, but I'm very excited about this one. Spicy sesame cauliflower wings. Oh my goodness, so, so good. If you've been around here for a little while, I don't think it is any surprise that I love cauliflower. I've made cheese from it. I've made gnocchi from it. I make a lot of things from it. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. It is a pretty big recipe. You're gonna get like four to six servings from this depending on how much you can eat so if you're making this for yourself or like two people i would probably cut the recipe in half because you're gonna have leftover cauliflower wings for days but honestly is it even a problem <laughs> so with all being said let's hop into the recipe let's start by cutting this baby in half so this is a pretty big cauliflower i'm cutting into half and then i'm going to cut those bottom green parts off i think that's where it's connected in the ground right doesn't cauliflower grow out of the ground i'm pretty sure so i'm just cutting it out using my fingers to pull it and then from here we are going to take our hands and break the cauliflower into big chunks where it naturally wants to break i'm not forcing it i'm not doing anything i'm putting a little pressure if it comes off great if it doesn't i'm going to try another spot this is really the best way i have found to get off big chunks then i'm cutting off any stems that are in the way all right, so now I'm left with all these multi-sized cauliflower hunks. So I'm just going to break again with my hands into smaller pieces. Medium-sized pieces are best. If it's too small, it's going to burn in the oven. If it's too big, you won't be able to bite it. So medium-sized is best. And I will cut off any stems that are in the way. So something like this when we are all done. All right, now we're going to wash our cauliflower, give a little bath. Make sure you wash your vegetables, please. <laughs> so I'm going to use chickpea flour as an egg replacer. This is just chickpea flour and water. And then these are my breadcrumbs. I used a combination of panko breadcrumbs and like a finer breadcrumb because I felt like it would coat it better and it did, it coated it really nicely. So all we're going to do is take one little florette with one hand, put it in the chickpea egg wash, and then we are going to transfer it into the other bowl. I like to give it a little shake, and then I use my other hand to help coat the rest of it. So you're gonna have a dry hand and a wet hand. I like for my dominant hand to be my dry hand because I feel like it does a little more work. And yeah, just drop it in there, get any excess liquid off because if that gets into the breadcrumbs, it makes those kind of clumps and it's annoying. and then just coat it in the breadcrumbs as best as you can. And also tap off any excess breadcrumbs so that way they don't burn in the oven. I'm placing it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and that's all you gotta do. So these are them all coated and breadcrumbed up and ready to be baked. We're gonna put these in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. While that's in the oven, let's make our sauce. I'm adding some rice vinegar into water, soy sauce, sesame oil, maple syrup, a combination of ginger powder and red pepper flakes and we're going to whisk that up this is a lot of sauce because there is a lot of cauliflower and then we're going to add a cornstarch slurry in there does not look so pretty and we're going to whisk that up again make sure everything is nice and smooth cornstarch slurry is just cornstarch and water so then we're going to pour it into a pot and it is going to go from looking like this kind of light brown milky looking color <laughs> to this more dark a little bit clearer sauce and you're gonna do this on a low heat. Just keep stirring it and moving it around and let it come to a bubble. And this is gonna get nice and thick. I sprinkled some sesame seeds in there, maybe like a tablespoon. You can do this, you don't have to do this, whatever you wanna do. And again, just mixing that all up and just letting it bubble, letting it thicken up. So I like to test it by like, if I put a spoon in there and some of it still stays on the spoon, I feel like that's thick enough. We have a lot of cauliflower to coat. So these are my cauliflower all done golden and crispy. Let these cool like 15 minutes before you coat them in the sauce. I am going to dump some green onions into a big bowl, a little bit of our sauce, not all of it. Then we are gonna add in all the cauliflower. All the crispy cauliflower is going in there. I like to add sauce to the bottom and at the top when we mix so everything gets sauce evenly. Then I'm gonna add a little more sauce. I still have plenty of sauce left in my pot, by the way. So I'm going to gently toss this. You wanna be a little bit careful, and that's why I said to wait for the cauliflower to cool so the breadcrumbs harden up a little bit more on there. You know, you don't wanna rip off all that breading you just put on there so nicely. And then I'm gonna add a little more sauce if I need, you know, just tossing and coating, making sure everything is coated evenly. I always like do the sauce in batches. And then I have more sauce to put on, so I put it on. I put them in this little cute box with parchment paper 
to look like a cute little appetizer at a restaurant. I sprinkled some more green onion on top because I love it, I'm obsessed. And then of course, white and black sesame seeds because what else would we put on here? And now, here they are. You have delicious spicy sesame cauliflower wings. So good, so delicious, and worth all the effort. All right, guys, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, there is a link in the description box. First link you can click on to the written out blog post. That's where the full written out recipe is, the ingredients, and the all the steps, as well as a PDF printable recipe. If you want just the ingredients, you can get those right down below in the description box if you don't feel like going over to the blog. If you tried this, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Tag me on Instagram, send me an Instagram message. I love to hear back from you guys, good or bad. Just I love to hear back about how it went. If you like my videos or recipes you already know, like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff helps the channel out. We're almost at 13,000 subscribers. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you on Thursday with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.